The Children Who Loved Books. For Sophie and Elizabeth, my favourite storytellers. Angus and Lucy didn't have very much. They didn't have a television. They didn't have a car. They didn't even have a house. But Angus and Lucy had books. Hundreds of them. Look at them all. They were stacked here and piled there and they were balanced and propped and shoved in all kinds of odd places. Books cluttered every corner of their home. Their home could take no more. Look at them, they're coming out the windows. The books had to go. Look at them going. But things were not the same. Bowls slid off the table. Angus couldn't even reach the window. He had nothing to stand on, did he? And because there was more space in their home, there was a lot more space between them all. Then one afternoon, something tumbled from Lucy's school bag. What's this, said Dad. A book, Lucy answered. From where, asked Mum. The library, Lucy replied. Mum and Dad looked at the book. They opened it. Dad read the first sentence aloud, and then the second. The children moved closer as Dad turned the page and read on. Light faded and the family moved inside, Dad reading all the way. They huddled beside the lamp and listened to the story. That night, as darkness fell upon the town, one small home shone brighter than any other. Just look, everybody else had gone to bed. The next day, as the family yawned their good mornings, they were closer than ever before. With bleary eyes and full hearts, they rode through the clean morning air. Nobody had said a word. Angus and Lucy knew exactly where they were going. They were going to the library. Just look at that beautiful library. Angus and Lucy didn't have very much, but they had all they could ever need. Lots and lots of wonderful library books. Isn't that a wonderful story about the library? <laughs>